and it is, well, you know, you, you really don't have a, a top player they're for all, either team because they're, they're all so similar. They're all pretty close. You got Cyrus at 15-5, you got Willoughby at 12-4, and then you got Lively at 10 1. So I'm saying Deja Cyrus would be tabbed as their top player. She does average 15.5 points a contest, eight and a half rebounds. So those are the players to watch for today. The national, or the uh, starting lineups are just about ready to be run down on the court. We'll take a quick break and we'll come right back and give you the starters and the tip off in this contest. We'll be back on the NAIA network. And welcome back to the Tyson Event Center. Steve Bates, Nelson Wilson, let's run down our starting lineups. First for the Oregon Tech Owls. They'll start number 11, Megan Morris, averaging 9.3 points a contest, 3.6 rebounds. Number 20 is Naola Weoli, and she's averaging 10.5 points a contest and 6.1 rebounds. Number 22 is Abby Kreitzer, and 9.8 points a contest, 3.6 rebounds. Number 34 is Bailey Nelson, averaging 8.2 points a game, 4.4 rebounds, and rounding out the starting lineup. Number 43 is Michaela Schumacher, averaging 4.9 points and 3.3 rebounds. That's the starting lineup for Coach Scott Meredith in the Oregon Tech Owls. For Marion Knights, their starting lineup looks like this. Number one is Cam Carnes, at 6.2 points a game, 1.9 rebounds. Number 13 is Macy Lively, 10.1 points a game, 2.6 rebounds. A lightning quick defender. I remember her from last year, and we'll see what she brings out here today. Number 15 is Rachel Teetzer, 5.8 points, 3.8 rebounds. Number 23 is Karen Jones, 7.2 points, 4.8 rebounds. And number 30, 34 is Deja Cyrus, 15.5 points a contest, eight and a half rebounds. And that's the starting lineup for Coach Katie Garaz and the Marion Knights. And we're, Nelson, we're about set to go. Both teams are being introduced out on the floor. You look at these two teams, they're a couple of very electric players. A lot of players that are very good surrounding cast. If you're here, you're here for a reason. Absolutely. Um, and then you look at them as they're introducing their starting lineups here, like uh, they're built similar too. So um, on paper, it looks like a good matchup. So far what we've seen with introductions looks like a really good matchup too, so. For Oregon Tech, they come into this game the out of the Cascade Collegiate Conference. And for Marion, they come in here out of the Crossroads League. So both teams coming in out of very good conferences. Teams, there are conferences that have sent teams to this tournament to many times in the past few years since it's been in Sioux City. So we know exactly what to expect. Two teams that really like to get up and down the floor. They're going to try and push the tempo. And we'll see. The main thing, Nelson, you and I know both as former co or You're a coach now. I'm a former coach. Turnovers are a huge part of this game. We've seen it already this morning. If you're able to take care of the basketball, you're able to come out on top most right. of the time. And then just a matter of uh, both teams getting in and settling in and, and being ready to go. We'll see if they are both ready to go. We're ready to roll now. The officials are coming out on the court. Both teams have been introduced. They're going to get their last second instruction from their head coaches, and then we'll be ready to roll here in Sioux City. Looking forward to this game today. The winner of this contest will move on to play on Friday afternoon. It'll be a 145 contest, and they'll take on the winner of our last game of the evening featuring the hometown team, the Morningside Mustangs, coming in the number six seed. And they'll take on a very good Antelope Valley, California team coming in at the number three seed in the tournament tonight. So the winner of that contest will take on the winner of this contest. That will be Friday afternoon at 1.45 p.m. here at the Tyson. Games already concluded today. The number one seed, Concordia, out of Nebraska defeated 
Wilberforce 100 to 62. Sterling out of Kansas fell to Cardinal Stritch 83 to 73. And we'll continue looking at the scores throughout the game. Here we go, and the ball is up, and the tip is won by Oregon Tech. Oregon Tech with the basketball on the left wing. Looking inside is Schumacher. They'll kick it around over to the circle to, to Wea Weole. And a foul is called as she went to make a move to the hoop. An early foul right now. Officials are trying to establish if you put two hands on, it's going to be an automatic foul. We've seen very good officiating so far in this tournament. So we look for nothing different here this afternoon. Wea Weole with the basketball over the right wing. She'll kick it down. Over to Morris. Morris drives the lane, puts up the running one-hander. It won't go. She'll get her own rebound and then drive it out of the lane. She'll give it back to Weoweoli. They'll reset the offense. Shot clock resets. Weoweoli on the right wing goes over now once again to Morris. Back to Weoweoli. They'll bring it over near side to, Kite, to Kreitzer. Inside. Nelson in the lane. Thought about it. Kicked it out. Three-pointer on the way and good as Morris knocks down the three. So back the other way comes Marion, trailing by three. Oregon Tech on top early. Marion with the basketball up top. That's Lively. They'll swing it around now to Cyrus. They'll reset the offense up top with Cardenas. So she looks to drive, kicks it over near side. Jones with it. They go down the baseline. Shot on the way. Off the mark from Cyrus. Rebound by Wyoweola. She'll bring it back the other way. For Oregon Tech, into the lane, spin move, shot up, no good. Rebound in favor of Oregon Tech, but we've got a whistle and a foul. Huge collision. Indeed, luckily no one injured that time. And that's going on, that's going to go on Nelson as they're going to say she pushed to get the inside position. Oregon Tech on top, three to nothing. 8.36 left to play in the first quarter. Marion with the basketball, just the one possession so far. Looking to get something rolling here offensively. Cardenas will bring the ball up court. Left side. Looks to get a screen. Now brings it over to the near side to Jones. Jones down the baseline. Shot on the way. Off the mark that time by Dietzer. And we'll go back the other way with it. In the lane. They'll kick it out. Ball tipped. It'll go out of bounds. They'll say last touch by Marion. Schumacher tried to kick the ball back out. The ball was tipped. Kreitzer with it over on the right wing. Brings it back out top to Schumacher. She thought about it. Puts it on the floor. Drives the lane. Scoop shot up and good. And Kreitzer gets Marion on the, or Oregon Tech. Two more points now up by five to start this game. On a five nothing run to start the game. But right there goes Cyrus past the defense. She's able to lay it up and in. And it's the first two points of the afternoon for Marion. Marion applying some full court pressure now. And quickly get it up ahead to Schumacher. She'll pick up her dribble, tries to get it back out and does to Weoweoli. Weoweoli into the lane. Kick out over to Morris. Morris, three-pointer on the way. Off the mark. She made her first one, but just couldn't get that one to go down. And we've got a whistle on the loose ball. And the foul's going to go on Oregon Tech's Weoweoli. That would have been an interesting call if the official would have gave it up to the the lady on the baseline because it uh, looked like she was going to come with a travel. And as a coach, I don't think I would have been very happy <laughs> with that call. You know, it shows you what a team player that uh, Deja Cyrus is. She was going to come out and do the job <laughs> for the volunteers down there, but the volunteer says, no, no, I'll take care of that. You take care of the basketball. Here comes Cardenas back the other way with it for Oregon Tech, or for Marion, excuse me, trailing right now. The hard screen up top, frees it up, ball down the baseline, shot from the baseline. That'll be a long two for Tietzer. And it's now a 5-4 Oregon Tech lead. Those up ahead to Schumacher, off her fingertips, out of bounds. It'll be a turnover back to Marion. And we go back to that screen that was set out top. I'm telling you, the next break that I get, if that's my teammate, I'm going to smack her and say, hey, you got to let me know when that stuff is coming because that kind of hurt. That was a hard screen. Oh, yeah. Now we got a player having to leave the uh, court. Jones, Corinne Jones going to have to uh, go over to the sideline. Got a little blood on the knee, so the official called timeout for her to go over to the trainer and get that taken care of. So we got a brief stoppage in play right now as the blood is being taken care of that's by an, the trainer. That's an awkward silence. 
When certain play people are at our table, any silence is golden. <laughs> Boy, you know, we got a substitute coming into the game. <laughs> There's no excuses for some people. For Marion, <laughs> Ellie Williams comes into the game. 2.1 points, 1.9 rebounds on the season. Cardenas with the basketball, gets a screen, dribbles over, kicks over far side to Lively. She'll launch a three, no good. Ball tipped around, out of bounds. And let's see, who are they going to say was the last to touch it? They'll say that Marion was the last to touch it, so it will be... Oregon Tech basketball, full court pressure being applied by Marion once again. They're going to look to really pressure the Knights. Finally getting the ball up ahead. Morris with it over on the right side. Drives in, puts one hard off the glass. It won't go. Rebound in favor of the Knights. They'll kick it back out. Driving the lane is Kreiser. Count the basket wow. and a foul. A nice, uh, nice play that time. I got to, she went and avoided the contact and was able to get down the lane to get that shot up. The foul is going to be called against Deja Cyrus. That's going to be her first, team second. And that's yeah. going to put Abby Kreitzer at the free throw line. Yeah, Kreitzer just did a great job that time. Killing the, the contact, making it happen. Gets the free throw to go. That's three points for her. Now an 8-4 lead for Oregon Tech. Marion back the other way with it. Cyrus top or on the right wing, looked inside, nothing there. Now Teacher with it, gets a screen, drives her near side, gives it over to Cardenas. Back down to Teacher on the right baseline. She'll give it back up. Cyrus, top of the key. Quickly they swing it over to Lively. Seven on the shot clock. Lively picks up her dribble. Teacher with the basketball. Four on the shot clock. Ball stolen away by Morris. Here comes Morris up ahead. Loses the handle, but she's able to get it right back. Gives it back up top to Weoweoli. Well, we only going to slow things down a bit. Gets a screen. Tries to come to the near side. Gives it back up to Nelson. Nelson kick over. Schumacher with a long three, and it's good. And it's now an 11-4 lead for Oregon Tech with 5.48 left to play in the first quarter. Cyrus back the other way with it. Lively now looks to go past the defense. He can't, so she'll give it up to Jones. Jones goes over to Cardenas, back to Jones, and then a travel is called as Jones went to make a move. Substitute into the game. Macy Willoughby into the game. Willoughby averaging 12.4 points a contest off the bench for this Marion team. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them. A 30-second timeout with our score, Oregon Tech 11, Marion 4, 5.37 left to play in the first quarter. We'll be back on the NAIA Network. And welcome back to the Women's Division II NAIA National Championships right here at the Tyson Event Center in Sioux City, Iowa. Steve Bates, Nelson Wilson, Oregon Tech with the lead. And Marion now with the basketball. They're up 11 to four. Marion trying to fight back in this one as Wayaway Oli drives into the lane. She'll dump down pass. Nice shot up, good strong move. And that was Sarah Corbin with the basket. Corbin just checked into the game. She was able to pay dividends right away. Back the other way with the Marion into the lane. Bounce pass down low. Shot is good and a foul. Count the basket and a foul as I didn't catch 32, the, that, I think. That is Willoughby. Willoughby, who just checked into the game, was able to get the basket. Nope, that was the pass from Willoughby. The basket was good from Alex Conley, who just came into the game. Conley will put the free throw up. The old-fashioned three-point play is good, and it's now 13-7 in favor of Oregon Tech. Oregon Tech with the basketball. Way away, Ole. Kicks it back over on the near side. Now getting it into the front court. They go over to Morris. She'll look to drive into the lane. Kicks out. Three-point shot on the way. Good. A left-handed three. Good that time 
by Abby Kreitzer. Back the other way now, 16-7 lead. Cyrus pull up jumper, good from the top, just inside the arc. She's able to knock down the basket. That gives her her first, or that's four points on the afternoon now for Cyrus, and it's a 16-9 Oregon Tech lead. Wayoli with the basketball. 2-3 zone being applied by Marion. Wayoli with the basketball. Directing traffic, brings it over near side. Another left-handed three, good, and Kreitzer's right. starting to heat it up. Kreitzer's feeling it right now, and of course, Marion go to that 2-3 zone to try to limit those outside shots. Kreitzer now with nine points. Driving in the kick back out, lively. Left wing three on the way, no good. Rebound in favor of Corbin of the Knights. They'll look to push. Way away, Ole over on the right side, drives into the lane. Pull up jumper is good. She's just got a nice smooth touch once she gets into the lane. And Oregon Tech right now just absolutely on fire. Marion trying to get something going once again as they come back down on the near side with Willoughby. She'll give it up over to Lively. Back to Willoughby. Now Lively with it looking to drive the lane. She's tied up on the drive. Kreitzer was able to get a hand in there and tie it up. Possession arrow will be in favor of Oregon Tech. Oregon Tech with a 21-9 lead over Marion right now. Lively will look to inbound underneath their own basket. They'll lob it out, top of the key. Then they try to go inside to Cyrus, and we're going to get a whistle and a foul on the floor. So it will remain with Marion. And Downard looks to inbound. She'll get it into Cyrus. Cyrus gives it into Willoughby. Her shot up and good. So Macy Willoughby with the bucket. That's her first two, and it's now a 21-11 lead for Oregon Tech. And Oregon Tech breaks the pressure. They'll get it into the front court with Morris. She'll take it over to the right side. Hand off. Odo Weoweoli. Spin move in the lane. She'll pull up from just inside the free throw line. Can't get the shot to go, but we've got a whistle and a foul on the rebound attempt. And that's going to go on, um, is that Constant? Yes. So Amanda Constant just checked into the game. She'll pick up her first foul. Marion Player that time just did a very good job of getting her on her hips and just boxing her out, keeping that's her there. Five team fouls, so we'll come to the other end. Cyrus will step to the free throw line. Dejan Cyrus puts up the first free throw. She's able to knock it down. Cyrus on the season, a 66% free throw shooter. She'll have one more coming up. She's able to knock down both free throws. Now a 21-13 lead for Oregon Tech. So apply, Marion applies full court pressure. Tech able to get the ball into the front court easily with Farrell. And she gives it up to Morris. Morris right wing. Looks for a screen, she'll get that screen. Trying to beat the double team and does, drives down on the baseline, kicks into way away Oli. Tried, she tried to dump it down to Morris and the ball stolen away by Cyrus. Lively will get it up ahead. They'll dump it down on the baseline. And we've got a whistle and a jump ball will be the call as they were trying to get the ball on the baseline to Conley. And Conley got it down there, and she had a much smaller defender on her. But, man, like you had mentioned earlier, you bring that ball down to your hips, man, and you and, and it's anybody's ball, and she was able to tie her up. As I used to tell the post players when I was coaching, why go from being five foot six down to being five foot three by bringing that ball down right. around your knees? Here's Morris with the basketball up top, directing traffic, looking to get it to way away. Oh, she's going to pull up and launch a long three and knocks it down. So Morris with three three-pointers now, 12 points on the afternoon. 2.06 left to play here in the first half, or first quarter. And Oregon Tech on top, 24 to 13. Lively launched a three, couldn't get it to go. Rebound in favor of the Owls. Morris quickly up into the front court. She'll call out the play, dribbles over to the right wing, gives it off top of the key to Clemmer. They'll give it up to Wayoli. 
She brings it over to the near side. Three-pointer swatted out of there by Cyrus, but Morris hustles after the loose ball with nine on the shot clock. Morris pull up one-hander on the way. No good. Cyrus with a loose ball. And she'll quickly give it off to Meadows. Meadows up ahead. The long three on the way. No good that time for Willoughby. And a rebound in favor of Morris. And she'll push it back the other way quickly. Farrell now over on the right wing. Gives it back out to Morris. Morris looks for the screen. Dribbles over right wing, kicks it back over near side to Schumacher. Schumacher's shot blocked out of there by Cyrus once again. Lively into the front court. Dump down pass, shot up, no good, but we've got a whistle and a foul. When Deja Cyrus showing early on that like uh, she's a tough defender inside, especially she's got about three block shots right now. So just doing a great job interior defense. Conley hit the floor hard, but she's all right as she'll get up to come to the free throw line to shoot free throws. First free throw on the way is good. Or excuse me, that is Jones. Jones, excuse me, get the right team there. Jones at the free throw line. Knocks down the first. She'll have one more coming up. She gets them both to go. Full court pressure being applied once again by Marion. And we'll see if Oregon Tech can break it. Way away only with the basketball. Looking to get past Cyrus. Finally into the front court. Way away all the way into the lane. Dump off pass. Shot blocked by Cyrus again. And way away all he's able to come back up with it. 13 seconds on the shot clock, 40 seconds on the game clock. They go down low, the ball tipped away by Cyrus, but that's a great call. And we've got an offensive charge away from the basketball. That is a great call, going Klimmer. Um, she actually was forced to pick up the basketball and then dipped her shoulder in to create space. Great call by the officials. Katie Giller taking the charge, doing a good job of setting in there and taking that one for the team. Cardenas with the basketball up top as she just checked back into the game. She'll give it over near side. Willoughby looked to make a move, lost the ball, but was able to get it back. Now she'll give it to Cyrus. Hand back right back to Willoughby. Willoughby looking to drive into the lane. Eight on the shot clock. She's going to have to get one off here in a minute, or second, and the shot was up. No good. Missed everything, and it went right into the hands of the Knights. They're going to get the last shot. Way away, Ole. Shot on the way. In and out. No good at the buzzer. Our score at the end of one, Oregon Tech 24, Marion 15. We'll be back right here on the NAIA Network. And welcome back to the Tyson Event Center's Gateway Arena. Steve Bates, Nelson Wilson, as we get set to start the second quarter. Marion will have the basketball. They trail 24 to 15. And they'll try and get something going here offensively once again. Willoughby with the basketball over the top. She'll give it up on the near side to Teacher. Now quickly driving into the lane. The shot won't go as they were able to get Cardenas into the lane. She just couldn't get the shot to go. Back the other way. Way away only with it. We've got a whistle and a hand check is going to be called. That's going to go against Cardenas. First quarter stats, uh, Kreiser leading the way right now for Oregon Tech with 12 points. And uh, Cyrus leading the way for Marion with six. And her defense by Cyrus has been outstanding. At least four block shots so far in this early going. Wayle takes the basketball. She handles it. Biggest share of the time 
for this Owls team. They'll give it up top to Nelson. Looking for the screen. Finally get it back out to Farrell. 11 on the shot clock. We've got a whistle traveling the call, and it'll be a turnover going back to Marion. That could have been one of two things, a three-second call or a traveling for sure. So Cyrus will look to inbound. Willoughby will look to bring the ball up court. Willoughby into the front court. Dribbles over to the right wing. Now tries to get it back out top. Now she's going to drive into the lane. The lane part. She's able to get the reverse layup off, but it's no good. It hit the bottom of the rim. Quickly up ahead, driving into the lane, running one-hander off the glass for Megan Morris. And here comes Cardenas back the other way with it. Marion wants to get out and run, but they just haven't had the opportunities. Here's a shot on the way. Good, knocking that one down was Giller. And it's now 26-17 in favor of Oregon Tech. Full court pressure, Cyrus at the point, trying to force a turnover, she can't do it as Farrell gets through, all the way down, dump down pass, nice shot up and good from Nelson, and a good job of driving into the lane that time and drawing the defense and giving it up. And Nelson, the beneficiary of it. There's another drive in the lane, we've got contact, shot is up, no good. And Giller is starting to uh, assert herself offensively here for, for Marion. And they're, and they're right now they need they need that um, from a couple of her players right now. Um, she's tried to put in the, the full court press to maybe slow them down, but then uh, backside rotation is not there, so they're able to beat them down court that way. Um, and then just in the half court set, um, right now um, Kreiser is just doing a great job of shooting the ball from the outside. And then they have inside presence too. Giller's second free throw all the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound in favor of the Owls. Way away only with the basketball. She'll bring it up court, go over on the right wing. Morris inside, looked to run the hand back. Schumacher tried to get it back to her in the paint. Step through, ball tipped away. And there's Cyrus with her defense forcing another turnover. So the turnover goes back to Marion. They trailed 28-17. 8-0-1 left to play in the first half. Bringing the ball up court will be Willoughby. She'll give it out to Teetzer. Back over to Willoughby. Inside Cyrus. She draws a triple team. Kicks it out. They'll swing it around. Teetzer, three from the left wing. In and out. Ball tipped around right into the hands of Willoughby. She can't get the shot to go. And then the ball goes out of bounds. It'll go off the knee of Giller. And back to the Owls. Well, in that time, Giller working really, really hard on the offensive end. Um, trying to keep possessions alive with three rebounds. Ball tipped away because uh, Cardenas did a good job of getting a hand on it to tip it away. It'll stay with the Owls. And that full court pressure being applied once again by Marion. Way away only, looking to get the ball in. Lob pass stolen away. Cardenas into the lane. Her shot is blocked by Way away only. Quickly up ahead to Morris. Morris, one on two break, and she traveled. Didn't have the numbers. <laughs> Tried to pull up, but just shuffled the feet. Boy, and on that one, she almost would have been better off just, just attacking the basket there. Macy Lively back into the game for Marion. Lively with the basketball. We'll bring it up and now give it off to Willoughby. Willoughby dribbles over to the left wing. She's going to look inside for Cyrus. Nothing there. Now gives it back out Lively. Near side teacher, she's gonna try and drive the baseline, kick out, Willoughby three from the baseline, up, no good. Way away only with the rebound for the Owls. She's gonna try and push this one up court. Gives it over far side, Farrell launches a three, knocks down an NBA three from way downtown. That's her first three of the afternoon. It's 31-17 in favor of Oregon Tech. Teacher into the lane, draws contact, no call. Ball loose, it's gonna go out of bounds. Now we have a whistle as more bodies hit the floor. That's gonna go on Morris, I believe. That's her first. It'll be the second foul of the quarter on Oregon Tech. Marion looking to inbound. Medals gets it out. Here's Giller with a three on the way. No good. Rebound in favor of the Owls. 
And they'll look to push it up court. They'll give it over now to Weoweoli. Weoweoli gets the screen, dribbles left wing, kicks it back over far side. Inside dump down pass, shot up, no good. Rebound by Teacher. Here comes Teacher on the run. Gives it over to Geller. Her shot up, no good. Rebound in favor of the Owls once again. And Weoweoli brings it back the other way. 6.15 left to play in the second quarter. Pass over to Nelson. Nelson looking inside. Now she'll launch a three. In and out, no good. Ball tipped right into the hands of Oregon Tech. And they're able to get the shot. Bailey Nelson in the right place at the right time. And a timeout on the floor with our score now. Oregon Tech on top, 33-17. to 17. Six minutes left to play in the second quarter. We'll be back after this break on the NAIA Network. Welcome back to Sioux City's Gateway Arena. Steve Bates, Nelson Wilson, our score, 33 to 17 in favor of Oregon Tech. Nelly, the difference so far is Oregon Tech forcing turnovers with great defense and turning them into points on the other end. Absolutely, and then they're showing that every chance they get, they want to run the floor, but they've established the inside game and the outside game, and so um, he's got Marion right now um, searching for answers and what, they, what they're going to be able to do, like defensively. Um, for the bright spot for for Marion right now is um, is Cyrus who is uh, who has proven she can play defense outside on the perimeter and inside as well. And so far, paint our points in the paint in favor of Oregon Tech, 12 to six. Early on, there's a pass into Cyrus. She'll lay one up off the back of the rim, no good. She tried to get the reverse layup to go, and it just wouldn't go down. She draws a crowd every time she touches the basketball. Way away, Oli crosses it over to. Constant. Here's a shot on the way. Good. She was able to drive into the lane, did a step to the right, and came back to the left and laid it in. Medals with the basketball. Up top, lively. Three pointer on the way. Misses everything. It'll go out of bounds and belong to Oregon Tech. Point right now, I mean, Marion just uh, is struggling offensively to, to find any production. Way away, Ole gets it up ahead to Nelson. Her shot up, no good. Rebound in favor of Marion. They're going to try and push it up court with Denard. Donard with the basketball, picks up her dribble, gives it over near side, Lively. She'll give it back to Donard. Thought about the three, puts it on the floor, gives it over to Lively. Lively into the paint. Her shot up is good, and Lively gets the running left-hander to go. She has two points now, and it's a 35-19 advantage for Oregon Tech. Marion needing a stop. Way away only into the lane, loses the handle, but she's able to get it back. Goes down to Nelson, thought about it, but kicks it back out. Cross-court pass near side, three-point shot on the way. Good as it was constant, able to knock down the three. Nobody came out to get her, and she made her pay. On Marion in that zone right now, Steve, and that, that's tough on that rotation. That's where all your looks are going to come from. Lively picks up her dribble, goes over on the near side to Jones. She'll launch the three. It's no good. Rebound in favor of the Owls. Way away, Ole coming back the other way with it. Going right to, or going left to right on your, well, it would be the radio dial, but we'll just stay on the court here in Sioux City. Way away, Ole with the basketball, picks up her dribble. Here's a three on the way, off the back of the rim that time from Constant, no good. She was able to knock down the last one, just couldn't get that one to go as Meadows with it. Lively, back over to Meadows now. They'll go inside, Cyrus, she draws a triple team and she's still able to split the defense and get the shot to go. So Cyrus now with eight points. Away, away, Ole with the basketball once again. Oregon Tech right now being very patient and executing very well offensively. It's way away, only draws contact. We've got a whistle and a late whistle, but they're gonna call the charge. I think it's the right call now, so it was just kind of a delayed reaction. Absolutely the right call. 
And I don't know if the official was looking at maybe where the placement of it was, where the defender was at, um, as far as where she was at under the basket, but uh, a late call, nonetheless, it was the right call. So it will be Marion basketball as they look to bring it up. Downer with the basketball near side. Gives it out. They'll swing it over now. And Mills, she'll bounce pass into Cyrus. Ball tipped away. Cyrus has three people around her at all times, and they try to go to her down on the block. Way away, only back the other way with it. Mills going to come out and guard here. We've got a timeout on the floor taken by Coach Meredith. He wants to talk to his squad. 38-21 our score, 305 left to play in the second quarter. We'll be back. You're watching the live stream and listening to NAIA Network. Welcome back. Steve Bates alongside Nelson Wilson as the Owls whip the basketball. They'll swing it over to the near side. Back out front it goes. That's Morris with it. They'll swing it over right wing. Nine on the shot clock. Morris kicks back out. Now Farrell drives the lane. Her shot up. No good. Rebound in favor of the Owls. Lee came up with the rebound and the shot. No good. Cyrus with the rebound. We'll bring it back the other way with Donner. She's going to bring it over right side. Gives it off to Lively. Now Cyrus, top of the key, swings it over the far side to Jones. Our medals, there's Lively launching the three. Off the side of the rim, it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be a turnover going back to the Owls. Right now, Nelson, Marion just can't get it going offensively from the outside. Right. And a lot of that has to do with the defense that's being played against it because Oregon Tech is really denying on the perimeter. Yeah, well, and then Marion, they just got to figure out a way to get it in to, to, to Cyrus right now because she's garnering so much attention. Then the outside game would open up for them. Lee into the front court. Gives it over to Reed, who just checked into the game. Reed, top of the key. Brings it near side, Constance. She's launched the three from there, so Cyrus wants to try and stay out on her. They'll swing it over to Morris. Ten on the shot clock. Morris running one-hander. Won't go as the shot clock expired. And Marion with the basketball. They're going to look to bring it up court with Downard. Downard now will slow things up. Top of the key. Brings it over near side. Back out to Downard. And a whistle away from the basketball. <laughs> We're going to get a foul. <laughs> Reed doesn't like the call, but I thought she held her up pretty good there, so... So Angie Reed whistles for the foul. That's her first. Team's fourth. And back in for the night will be Katie Giller. Well, Cyrus going to get a much, much deserved break. He gets it in. Downard with the basketball. Gives it over far side to Willoughby. Willoughby directing traffic. Wants a screen. Gets the screen. Over to Downard. Three-pointer on the way. That one went in halfway down and rolled right back out again. That's just the way their luck's been so far here in the first half. Reed with the basketball up top. 125 left to play in the first half. They'll go over far side to Lee. Lee looking to drive baseline. She'll put up a shot. Contact. Charging the call. Boy, that's great. Did a great job of, of her defender did a great job of setting her up. Letting her go baseline and her, her teammate was right there to take the contact. Willoughby draws the charge. That's five team fouls now on Oregon Tech with the player control. We don't shoot free throws, so Downard brings it back the other way. Gives it over to Tietzer on the right side. She's going to look to drive baseline. Has the ball tipped away. Morris was able to get a hand in there and knock it out of bounds with 104 left to play in this first half. Downard will look to inbound underneath their own basket. Downard being patient. Gets it in Willoughby. She draws the crowd. Willoughby goes on the floor, but she's going to be all right. Ball will go out of bounds. And we've got a foul called on the play. Looks like we're going to be in the bonus. And that's Angie Reed with the foul. That's going to be her second. So Macy Willoughby goes to the free throw line, averaging 12.4 points a contest off the bench. She's able to cash in the first free throw. 
That's three points now for Willoughby on the afternoon. Second free throw on the way. That one's no good. Rebound put back up. No good. Is crashing in to get the rebound. Was Kreitzer. We just couldn't get the shot to go. Morris with the basketball. Near side, Constance. Looks inside. Nothing there. Gives it back out to Lee. They'll swing it over on the far side to Reed. She looks to drive, kicks it out. Constant three from the top of the key off the mark. Rebound in favor of Willoughby. And she'll grid it up court quickly. Goes over far side. Three-point shot on the way. Off the mark by Gleit, or Gillard. Back over to Willoughby. Willoughby's going to slow it up. They're going to look for one. Downer with the basketball with 20 seconds left. She's going to set the offense. 15 on the clock, now makes a move over to Willoughby. Willoughby looking inside, ball tipped away and stolen away. Good job getting a hand up there by Lee. Six seconds, now let's see if they're gonna look for a last second shot as Morris went to make the move. There's a whistle and a foul called with 2.8 left to play. Probably not a bad foul there either. So he's gonna, she's gonna get by here. She had a wide open layup to the basket to end the half, so. Probably not a, probably a smart foul there. Substitute's gonna quickly get into the game. We're gonna bring Cardenas back into the game. Downer will take a seat. Lob pass in. One second, shot all the way from Constance. No good at the buzzer and our score at the half will be Oregon Tech on top by a score of 38 to 22. Nelson Oregon Tech came out, got hot right away. And that's just the opposite for Marion, whose favor was favored coming into this game, but they just haven't been able to get anything offensively going. And you've got to give a lot of for the Oregon Tech, 25 to 19 turnovers, 10 turnovers for Oregon Tech, just five for Marion, and then 45%. Here's the big tail, Nelson. 45% from the floor for Oregon Tech to just 26% for Marion. Three-point shooting, 58% from beyond the arc. For Oregon Tech, 0, 0 for 12 from the three-point line for Marion right now, Nellie. And that's something that uh, has been one of the big differences in this contest. Absolutely, because you look at the turnovers. Um, you know, Marion's been able to turn Oregon Tech over 10 times, um, but yet they find themselves in a, in a big deficit here, here at uh, halftime going into the second half. And so... Uh, but again, 45% field, uh, field goal percentage shooting versus uh, 26 for Marion. So um, that, that's the tail of the tape right there and then going over from the three point, point line. Look at some of the other stats here as far as team stats go. Bench scoring in favor of Oregon Tech, 12 to five. Points in the paint, 12 to 10 in favor of Oregon Tech. Second chance points. Uh, eight to zero in favor of Oregon Tech, and then points off of turnovers, eight to three in favor of Oregon Tech. So, some big uh, changes have to have been made at halftime for Marion, but the leaders right now, Kreitzer with 12 points to lead Oregon Tech, Cyrus with eight, rebounding, the leading rebounder, Way Away Oli with five rebounds, and Cyrus with five, and then uh, the leading stat or assist leaders right now, Way Away Oli with four, and Cardenas with one for Marion. So there are your stats and we are set to start the second half of action. And it will be Marion, or excuse me, it'll be Oregon Tech with the basketball as they'll inbound right in front of us. So for Oregon Tech, it will be Morris, Weoweoli, Kreiser, Nelson and Schumacher to start this second half. So they go inside to Nelson, she'll give it back over to Norris, bounce pass down low, ball tip, still loose. And back out it goes to Norris, or excuse me, that's uh, Morris giving it back out to Kreitzer. Now Kreitzer, top of the key, gonna look to drive baseline, tries to bounce pass it inside in a big time tie up. We got bodies all over the floor. <laughs> we got people doing hand st or headstands <laughs> almost. <She's> literally <laughs> upside down. Everybody's all right. Lively was standing on her head basically in the lane. <laughs> She'll smile and trot down court, but with the turnover, it's going to go in Marion's favor. 
And starting with a little different look in the second half, it'll be Macy Willoughby starting out to for Marion. They'll go with Teetzer over on the right wing. Cyrus also in the game as Teetzer picks up her dribble. She'll give it off to Cyrus. Cyrus pull up jumper on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound in favor of Kreitzer, or excuse me, of, yes, Kreitzer. Back the other way with it. She'll give it over now to the near side to Morris. Morris looks for help. Cross court pass down the block. Shot on the way. No good from Nelson. And we'll go back the other way with it. Quickly up ahead. Teets are over on the right wing. Thought about it. Gets it to Lively. They'll go inside to Cyrus. Ball tipped away. Cyrus hustles after the loose ball. Gives it up. Willoughby. Three on the way. Off the mark. No good. Rebound in favor of Weoweoli. Weoweoli pushes it into the front court. All the way into the paint. Turnaround jumper on the way off the front of the rim. No good. Lively comes up with a loose ball. She'll give it over to Willoughby. Willoughby calls out the play. Gives it up top of the key to Jones. They'll go inside. Cyrus, her turnaround, no good. Rebound by the Owls. And Marion starting out ice cold once again from the floor. Both teams, for that matter, just can't find some rhythm here offensively. Weoweoli over to the near side. She gives it up to Morris. Morris back to Weoweoli. Over far side, Kreitzer. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound skied up and grabbed by Cyrus. Willoughby back the other way with it. Willoughby gives it up lively. Her pull up jumper on the way, off the back of the rim, no good. So far, no one being able to find the bottom of the net here in this second half. Morris with the basket, or bounce pass, Kreitzer down to Morris. She's gonna look to drive, loses the ball. Loose on the floor, she's able to get it out. Here's a shot on the way, no good. Lively back the other way with it. Is neither team being able to get going here offensively. Willoughby's gonna slow things down, pulls it back out, top of the key. Now brings it over to the near side. She goes back over to Lively. Now teeps her with it, looks for the screen. Backs it out, brings it back to Lively, swings it over to Willoughby. Nine on the shot clock. They go inside to Cyrus. She can't get a hold of the ball, and it'll go out of bounds. A little bit too much on the pass. They let her too far. Yep, Jones that time was looking for Cyrus, who came up and set a screen, but the defender overplayed it that time, Steve, so she slipped to the basket and just the letter just a little too far. 7.08 left to play in the third. No one has scored yet to start the second half. Way away only. Quickly up ahead. Teacher able to cut her off. Now way away Ole, gonna go into the lane. Teacher doing a good job of keeping her out. Here's a pull up jumper off the mark, misses everything. Loose ball in favor of the Owls. Kreitzer up top, nine on the shot clock. Kreitzer picks up her dribble. They'll go inside, shot away from Constant. That's good, a nice job backing her defender down and was able to get the little baby hook to go. First point scored of the second half. Let's we'll see if that gets something rolling here both ways. We've got a three-pointer, but the foul was called before the shot, I believe. They're gonna make He's like, hey, you need, you need help on that. Huh? He has Guess given no I signal if the basket counted, and it obviously did not. So the foul came before the shot. Marion will maintain the possession. Lively. Lob pass out to Teacher. She was able to go up above and grab the pass to keep the possession. Now Willoughby with it. Willoughby brings it near side. Goes out to Lively. Back over to Teacher. Now looking to drive as Giller. She'll put the shot up. Runs into her own teammate and couldn't get the shot to go down. Back the other way is Kreitzer. Near side, Morris, back up top, way away Oli, over to Constant. They're looking inside, but there's nothing there. Constant puts the ball on the floor, she'll give it up to Morris. 11 on the shot clock. Bounce pass over, shot up, no good that time from Nelson. And back the other way come Marion with the basketball with Willoughby. Willoughby looks to drive by the defender, draws contact, kicks it out. We've got a whistle and a foul on the drive. Substitute coming into the game. Couple of them coming in. Courtney Clemmer back into the game now for 
Oregon Tech. Lob pass all the way out to Lively, over to Willoughby. Back to Lively, she'll launch a long three off the mark, rebound in favor of the Owls. Back the other way with it comes Kreiser. Bounce pass kicking out. She's going to be called for the travel. She lost her footing. She was trying to bounce pass it back out, but just couldn't uh, hold her balance and fell over. So the turnover goes back to Marion. Marion got their first three-pointer of the contest here in the second half. They are one for 15. Willoughby drives in, draws a little contact. No whistle, but the basket is good. And Willoughby now with five, and it's now 40 to 27 in favor of Oregon Tech. Kreiser with the basketball up top, being guarded by Willoughby. Brings it near side to Clement. Back out top, Clement. They'll look over now to Morris. Look contact in the lane. Three point shot on the way. No good once again. The long rebound comes back out, though, to Corbin. Swing it over near side. Morris looking to drive the lane. Puts up a shot and gets it to go. She was able to put that one up right over the top of the Giller who came in to try and block it. Just did a great job of just attacking and continuing to attack. Just waiting for the contact. So if it happens, I'm going to go to the line and shoot it the old-fashioned way, a three-pointer. Willoughby goes over on the far side to Giller. She'll drive the lane. She loses the handle on it. It'll go out of bounds. They'll say last touch by the Owls. So they'll stay with Marion. Cyrus back into the game. Giller is going to take a seat. 14 on the shot clock, and Lively will look to inbound. Bob pass out. Jones, right handed three on the way. Off the mark. Rebound in favor of Oregon. The Owls will get it up ahead. And a nice job of moving the basketball. They were able to find Clemmer, and she was able to finish inside. Clever now with four points. It's 44-27 in favor of Oregon Tech. Teacher back out top, Lively. She'll launch the long three. No good. Off the mark. Rebound in favor of Oregon Tech. The ball went out of bounds, but we had a whistle and a foul before the turnover. Boy, and Marion, they, they just have to figure out a way to get uh, Cyrus to basketball. Had a nice seal inside that time and just wasn't able to find her. They look for her, but they just can't get it to her right now. Here's Farrell gives it up now over to Kreitzer. Kreitzer looks to come near side, gives it over to Morris. Morris with it, goes inside. Constance in the paint, tries to spin, goes into a double team, kicks it over, shot up, no good that time by Clemmer. We'll go back the other way with Willoughby. They'll swing it around now inside. Cyrus, turn around, shot up and good. Nelson, you hit on it. Right there, they got the ball into her. She was able to connect. We'll bring it back the other way. Kreitzer. Willoughby picks her up at half court. Kreitzer gives over to Morris. Morris looking to drive baseline. Step back, fade away good. Morris now with nine points on the afternoon. It's a 46-29 lead for Oregon Tech. Willoughby back the other way, looking to drive into the lane, and there's a whistle, a tie-up. They're going to call that a jump ball. Kreitzer got a hand in there, and uh, I guess long enough for the official to call it a jump ball. We've got a timeout on the floor with 2.42 left to play in the third quarter. Our score, Oregon Tech 46, Marion 29. We'll be back. You're listening and watching the live stream on the NAIA Network. And welcome back to the Tyson Event Center's Gateway Arena. Steve Bates alongside Nelson Wilson. Coming up after this, the winner of this contest will move on to play on Friday at 1.45. They'll take on the winner of Morningside and Antelope Valley. That game scheduled for 8.45 tonight, but uh, 
A lot of bets being taken on if that will uh, actually get off on time after the Parade of Champions tonight. I got a lot of heads wagging no, no over here. <laughs> There's full court pressure being applied by Marion. Chrysler able to get it up into the front court. They'll skip it over to the far, er, far side. Teats are playing great defense, trying to deny, but they're able to swing it back out top to Lee. Kreitzer comes back out to get the basketball. Nine on the shot clock. Looks for a screen. They're going to run the pick and roll. Pass down low. Schumacher kicks it back out. Tipped away. Here's a shot up. No good. And the shot clock will expire. But the ball in the hands of Marion going the other way with it. Willoughby down on the baseline. Goes inside. Cyrus tries to get it out. Ball tipped. Cyrus is able to get it back. Downer going to put up the right-handed shot. No good. And it's tipped right back into the hands of the Owls. They're going to slow it up a little bit with Kreitzer. Kind of a flurry of action that time on the offensive end from Marion. Just wasn't able to produce any points. Farrell goes over to Schumacher. Schumacher gets it back out. Now Kreitzer. She'll come near side to Farrell. They go down the baseline to Lee. Lee goes inside. Ball tipped away. Downer hustles after it. She's able to come up with it and give it over to Teetzer. Teetzer quickly giving it up ahead to Jones. She's going to drive in. Left-handed shot up. It won't go, but a foul is called on the play on Schumacher. Karen Jones just couldn't get that ball to drop for. You're getting this. The question I always want to ask my players is, you let, a, you let an offensive player get that far with the basketball, and then at the last second you squat at it like... Nine times out of ten, that's going to be an and one. And if not, they're going to go to the line to shoot free throws anyway. And Jones knocks down the first. She'll have one more coming up. 16-point advantage now for Oregon Tech with 126 left to play. Jones makes both free throws. She has ten points now on the night. She's the second player on the floor right now for Marion in double figures. Kreitzer with Cyrus guarding her. There's a high pass, going to be picked up by Farrell. Farrell avoids the turnover and then loses the handle on it. They're going to turn it over. Farrell was able to come up with it, but then lost it off her knee out of bounds. When, and, and that's right in front of the coach who is actually screaming at her, hey, settle down, settle down. Downard with the basketball. This is another chance for Marion to cut into the lead, try and get this down to at least 10 points by the end of the third quarter. Downer, back inside, Cyrus, she draws a triple team as usual, can't get the shot to drop, and the rebound in favor of Clemmer. So the Owls now with it, with Kreitzer coming into the front court, Willoughby picks her up, Willoughby gets a handle on the ball, but she's able to get it back, it's Kreitzer. She'll bring it over to the near side, they're looking to go inside, but she'll go back out to Schumacher, 12 on the shot clock. Cross court pass, Lee over to Farrell. Farrell picks up her dribble with five on the shot clock. Kreitzer with three on it. Shot clock, she's going to have to launch one. She gets it off just in the nick of time. It goes off the front of the rim. The rebound in favor of the Owls. So Kreitzer with the ball back in her possession. Now they're going to get a chance to go for one. 19 seconds left to play. Kreitzer's going to hold on to the ball up top. 12 seconds. They'll probably make a move with 10 seconds. Bounce pass, Schumacher on the left elbow, looks for help, still looking, and we've got a whistle and a foul. As Schumacher was trying to find someone to get the ball out to. Now, Nelly Weoweole has been on the bench for quite a while, quite a while. here. Mm -hmm. Cardenas back into the game along with Giller for Marion. Kreitzer's going to inbound, 4.8 out, long pass out to Schumacher, over to Kreitzer, skip pass, Lee at the buzzer, can't get the shot to go, and that'll do it for three quarters of action with our score, Oregon Tech 46, Marion 31, don't go anywhere, we'll be back with the fourth quarter of action right here from the Tyson Event Center Gateway Arena on the NAIA Network.
And welcome back out of the timeout. Downer with the basketball. She'll bring it over to Willoughby. Now back to Downer. They look to run the back door, but the play was cut off. Willoughby comes back out to get the basketball. Gets a screen from Jones. Willoughby back up top. Giller over to Downer. Downer into the lane. Ten on the shot clock. Willoughby launches a long three. Off the mark. No good. Rebound in favor of Morris. And the Owls. Kreitzer long pass up ahead to Schumacher. Schumacher. Fighting for the loose ball, and we've got a whistle. They're going to call a kick. So it'll be Oregon Tech basketball. And they're going to look to inbound underneath their own hoop. Long outlet pass coming back out to Morris. And way away, all the way back into the game. Pass over now. Far side, Schumacher. Looks inside, nothing there. Back out to way away, Ole. Wayoli drives into the lane. Pull up jumper on the way. No good. Rebound in favor of Marion. And they'll look to push back up court. Downer with it. Into the front court. Downer. Top of the key. Picks up her dribble. Goes over to Teacher. She'll launch a three from the left side. And it's good. It's good. Struggled from the three point <laughs> line in the first half. They've been able to get a couple of them to go here in this uh, second half. It'll be important here for them to get a defensive stop here um, as they got to find a way to quit trading baskets with uh, Oregon Tech. Way away only into the lane. Step through move up and good. And right there's what you talked about, Nelson. You can't trade buckets with them. And way away only gets her fourth point of the afternoon. Back the other way, downer. Dribbles top of the key. Now looks to drive right side all the way down the baseline. Kicks out. Teacher three again. In and out. No good this time. Rebound in favor of Schumacher and the Owls. Kreitzer is going to bring the ball up court. Sets the offense up top, picked up by Willoughby. Looking to go to Way Away Ole, and we're going to get a foul. They're going to get Downer with the hold. Cyrus back into the game for Marion, and Farrell back into the game for Oregon Tech. Oregon Tech basketball, Way Away Ole, long pass out to Farrell. Farrell gives it back to Wayo Wayoli. Teacher following Wayo Wayoli everywhere she goes. Wayo Wayoli with the basketball, looking inside, nothing there. Now dribbles into the paint, picks up her dribble, tries to do a step through move. Ball tipped away, right into the hands of Morris. She couldn't get the shot to go. And Cyrus grabs the rebound. She'll give it off to Willoughby. Willoughby into the front court, left wing, looking inside. Picks up her dribble, gives it to Cyrus. Cyrus, bounce pass inside. Jones, turnaround shot up. No good. Rebound in favor of Schumacher. They'll go up ahead into the lane. Tried to get a power dribble and just lost the basketball was Nelson. Back up to Teeter. Back out to Jones. Now she'll give it off to Willoughby, who hands it immediately off to Downer. 7-11 left to go. Marion's got to get a push going here offensively. They'll give it up to Cyrus. Cyrus pull up, right elbow jumper is good. Well, she's had a she's had a well of a game here this afternoon. Twelve points now for Cyrus. And they're going to need more out of her if they want to come up with a victory here today. And she's going to pick up a foul trying to get a steal. You know, and I guess you know the the, the thing that's going to trouble Marion here as we get later into the game, Steve, is the coach doesn't go very deep into the bench, and so you've got a lot of girls out there that have played a lot of minutes in this game. Full court pressure being applied by Marion. They're going to try and force the turnover as Farrell with the basketball. Gets it over to Schumacher. Now way away Ollie. Dribbles through the defense into the front court. All the way into the lane. Pull up jumper on the way. No good. Rebound fought for. Downard's able to steal away the, the offensive possession. And they'll push it back the other way. Downard brings it back top of the key. Pass over now to Cyrus. She's going to look to drive on Schumacher. Count the basket and a foul. She's feeling it. And then they have to, every single time down the floor until the end of the game, Steve, they have to figure out a way to get her to basketball. So Cyrus, Dejan Cyrus gets the bucket and the foul. She's going to go to the free throw line when we come back with 6.29 left to play. Marion making a run. They've got it cut down to 10. We'll be back right here on the NAIA Network.
And out of the timeout, here's Cyrus on the drive. She drives into the lane, gets just enough contact out of Schumacher to draw the foul, and she's able to put the shot nicely off the glass. And Nelson, you, you've touched upon it. She has to have the ball in her hands for them to be successful. Absolutely. Um, and, she's, and she's played consistent the whole game. She's played a lot of minutes. 14 points, and she makes it 15 with the free throw. Now the closest this game has been in quite some time, a nine-point advantage for Oregon Tech. Marion trying to force the issue defensively once again. Kreitzer into the front court. Cyrus and Teacher set the double team. She's able to get it off to Schumacher. Now back up to Weoweoli. Marion needs a stop defensively. Morris up top, Weoweoli. Now Schumacher with it. Nine on the shot clock. Weoweoli up top. Teacher guarding her tightly. Weoweoli kicks it out. Schumacher, three pointer on the way. At the buzzer is good. She just beat the shot clock. Big shot, big time shot that time as they were able to use the whole shot clock. Jones with it now, over to Cyrus. Cyrus looking to keep things going offensively. Into the lane, fade away, turn around, no good. Schumacher had it, lost it to Teacher, and then Teacher lost it right back to Schumacher. So Kreitzer with the basketball now, 51-39 in favor of Oregon Tech. 5-28 left to play in the fourth quarter. Morris over near side, way away only. Now back over to Morris. Now Schumacher left wing. Dump down pass inside. Step through move. Ball tipped away and then a foul after the ball was stripped. Jones had it and she's pushed out of bounds. Foul's gonna go against Clemmer. Well, once again, uh, Cyrus changing that shot that time as she had a nice step through reverse layup here but it was blocked by Cyrus so and then Great Clemmer, job that time. Just out of frustration, picks up the foul. So it'll be Marion basketball. 5-14 left to play. They've made a run here in this early fourth quarter. And it's all been because of Cyrus. Let's look to see if they try and get her back to basketball down on the block where she's been the most successful. Here's Will Willoughby with a shot up. No good. Schumacher with another big rebound. And they'll give it up to Kreitzer. Kreitzer into the front court. Willoughby will pick her up defensively. Bounce pass near side, Clemmer. Jones will lay off of her out top. They'll give it over to Weoweoli. Back to Clemmer. She found Schumacher down on the block. Schumacher shot it up and good. And she's had the last five straight points. Now 10 points on the afternoon. And back to a 53-39 Oregon Tech lead. Here's Willoughby driving baseline. She'll put the shot up and good. So Willoughby off the bench now with seven points on the afternoon. And a big defensive possession coming up here for Marion. They need a stop. Kreitzer dribbles through the double team into the front court. All the way into the lane. Kicks it back out. Morris is going to be whistled for the travel. And should have, uh, should have gone when she had the opportunity. Uh, that lane was wide open and she's seen it. And right now, the way things standing, we could have our first upset of the afternoon with number seven seed Oregon Tech on top of the number two seed Marion. Downer with the basketball. Goes inside Cyrus. She'll put it off the glass. It won't go. And Cyrus gets up off the deck. Way away only into the front court. Looks for a screen. Drives into the lane. Down on the baseline, looks for help. Turnaround jumper is good. She just did that little baby hook and was able to get it out of there. And Will Eller now with six points. Now Cyrus with it once again. Jones, pull up jumper on the way, off the mark. And it's almost like Marion just doesn't have the their legs right now, Nelly. A lot of shots are flat, hitting the side of the rim. They are, and I had mentioned that like the beginning of the fourth quarter. Uh, the coach doesn't go very deep into her bench, Steve. And, um, you got a lot of ladies out there right now that have played a ton of minutes. Like, uh, you know, Cyrus has definitely been one of them. And so. Um, and with that, a timeout is taken on the court with 3.20 left to play in the fourth quarter. Marion trailing Oregon Tech 41 to 55. It's a full timeout. We'll take one with them. We'll be back right here on the NAIA Network.
And welcome back to the Tyson Event Center's Gateway Arena. Steve Bates, Nelson Wilson with 3.20 left to play. Right now, the number two seed, Marion, needs to get something going with Oregon Tech dominating here throughout the contest. Jones down on the block, kicks it back out. Willoughby launches a long two-pointer, and it's good. Now full court pressure once again being applied by Mary, and they need a big stop with 2.58 left to play. And here's a steal by Willoughby. Here's a three-pointer off the mark. No good. And full court pressure again. Another turnover. And diving on the floor is lively. And we've got a jump ball possession arrow in favor of Oregon Tech. Marion just doing a great job of uh, getting on the floor for the loose balls and getting their hands in the passing lanes right now. Forcing the turnovers, <coughs> Nelson, but unfortunately not converting those into points. Way away, Ollie picks up her dribble, almost gets it over the back, but she's able to get the ball up ahead. Bounce pass over to Morris, back out to Way away, Ollie. Morris once again looks inside. Now she's able to get it in. Here's a shot up. No good. Ball tapped out of bounds. Last touch by, well, we're going to have a conference by the officials. One saw it the other way. We'll see who they're going to give it to here. Well, they're going to say it belongs to Oregon Tech, but we've got... They're talking about the shot, the shot, I think, on the other end. Well, the officials, one official talking to the scorer's bench, the other over here talking to our head of officials. And we're going to see if they're going to go to the, well, and the monitor. Call, and the calling official definitely marked it a two. <clears throat> And we've got it straightened out. They're not going to have to go to the monitor. They do correct it. It is a two-pointer. So 55-43 is the correct score. 2.25 left to play in the fourth quarter. And Oregon Tech with the basketball. Way away only with the basketball up top. She's going to bring it back out top. Now go over on the far side. Constant with it, picks up her dribble. Back to Weoweoli, 18 on the shot clock. Plenty of time as Weoweoli drives into the lane. Her pull-up jumper on the way, no good. Ball knocked around. We've got a whistle and a foul. Foul's gonna go on. They're gonna call that foul on Bailey Nelson. That's her third. So. Willoughby with the basketball, dribbles over the right side, gives it up to Lively. Lively looking to get past the defense into the lane. She's able to get by the defender and lays it off the glass. Now we're going to need a stop here. Ten-point lead with 148 left to play. Way away only with the basketball. Teats her on her. Here comes the double team. Stolen away by Willoughby from behind. Up ahead to Teetzer. Teacher has it stripped by Morris. Jones dives down and slaps it, and the ball recovered by the Owls. Kreitzer with the bas basketball into the front court. Marion had the steal, but once again gave it right back to the Owls. Morris up top, way away only now. 117 left to play. Teacher almost tipped the ball away, but way away only is able to keep the ball in her possession. They go inside, shot up, no good, but we've got a foul on the play as Bailey Nelson was fouled on the drive. There'll be a two-shot foul coming up for Nelson. Foul is called on Cyrus, that's her third. First free throw is good. Free Free throws are going to be huge for um, Oregon Tech down this stretch here, but uh, more importantly, like Marion's got to be able to convert and get some turnovers here, or they're going to see their season come to an end. Back to an 11-point advantage for Oregon Tech. Make it 12 with both free throws. So Nelson converts on both free throws. Kevin Potabon will be up with the call for our next game, which will be Southeastern, the number one seed out of Florida, taking on Ellis Lloyd, the number eight seed out of Kentucky, and a shot made on the other end by Willoughby. And a foul quickly by Downer with 50 second, 56 seconds left to go and a 57-48 lead for Oregon Tech. 
We've got fouls to give because that's only the third team foul. And a timeout taken on the floor. Just a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Nelson, you look at the way that things have gone here. If Oregon Tech, or Marion, excuse me, could have come out with the intensity in the first half that they've come out in the second half, this would be a totally different game. Right. And then, you know, and then Oregon Tech just did a great job of coming out and start the game, um, getting up and down the floor in transition. Um, but, man, they started out, I mean, at a blistering pace as far as scoring offensively, um, which is going to be the tell here as um, they got out to a lead and they've been able to being able to sustain the, the lead like throughout the contest, which is going to be the difference here um, for them. For Oregon Tech, the, the worst part of their game tonight has been their three-point shooting, or Marion, excuse me, just three of 22. They were 0 of 12 at halftime, and they've been able to get three here, and they're just shooting 13.6% from the three-point arc, shooting 305 from the floor. Oregon Tech... 52% at halftime now has cooled down to 39.6% from the floor, but they're 47% from the three-point line, eight of 17 on the night. And Kreitzer will be fouled immediately. The foul is going to be called against Cardenas. That's going to be her second foul. And it's going to put Abby Kreitzer at the free throw line. Kreitzer has had a, a solid game here tonight with 12 points. First free throw on the way is good. And Oregon Tech salting it away at the free throw line. She can get this second free throw to go, and that's pretty much going to do it. Oregon Tech looking to upset the number two seeded Marion and move on to Friday as both free throws are good. They would play at 145 on Friday afternoon here at the Tyson. Downer quickly up to Willoughby. She'll launch the three off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound in favor of Marion. And then quickly, a timeout was called. Marion ended up with the basketball, so we're going to have a timeout. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them. We'll be back with our score 59 48 in favor of Oregon Tech. You're watching the live stream and listening to the NAIA Network. And welcome back as the ball tipped out of bounds. It was Cyrus getting up to knock the ball back out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Owls. Or what uh, now, what are the officials checking on? I think the clock is what they're. 47.4 as they adjust the clock. Here's a pass in to Kreitzer, and she's fouled by Teetzer. That'll be her second, team's fifth. Going back to the free throw line will be Kreitzer. She just knocked down two in a row. She'll make it three with the first. And Kreitzer has been a very integral part of this offense today. She's had a solid afternoon. <laughs> We're going to get a violation on Teetzer. Well, they're going to allow the substitute to come in. So lively back in. Kreitzer will get one more free throw. She makes them both. Cardenas into the front court. Dribbles down baseline, puts up the running one-hander. It won't go. Cyrus with the put back is good. Cyrus now with 17 points on the day. Makes it an 11-point advantage for Oregon Tech. Another timeout on the floor. We'll be back right here on the NAIA Network. And welcome back, Steve Bates, Nelson Wilson at the Tyson Event Center. 37 seconds left to go with 
Oregon Tech, the number seven seed, is going to advance on. Nelson with a big upset win over the number two seed. Boy, and they've not played like a number seven seed here um, this afternoon. So not at all. They have played a very solid team effort. And Jones tips it away. Still fighting hard is Marion. It'll stay with Oregon Tech. They can advance it to half court, but I think we're going to get a timeout first. We'll keep it right here with a timeout on the court. Coming up next will be Southeastern Florida, the number one seed, taking on the number eight seed in Ellis Lloyd out of Kentucky. And Kevin Pottebaum will have the call for you in that one. That game will start approximately at 5.15. Then we'll have the Parade of Champions. Or excuse me, we'll have a 7 o'clock contest then. That'll be Dort right here from Iowa taking on IU Northwest out of Indiana. That game at 7 o'clock. Dort, the four seed. Parade of Champions will be before. Will be before that game, okay. And then it'll be Dort and IU Northwest coming up at 7 o'clock right here at the Tyson Event Center. And then our last game of the night will be the six seed Morningside taking on the three seed in Antelope Valley to end the day, and then we'll be right back here again tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Right and early. Yes, indeed. We'll be back on at 10.15 tomorrow morning. So free throws now. Way away, Oli, at the free throw line. She'll get an opportunity to add to her total tonight. That's an interesting haircut. Indeed it is. Or should I say hairstyle? Yes. I may be a little jealous because my hair is not that long. Can you grow your hair that long anymore, Nelson? I, I, I mean, I could try. Are you gonna? Are I don't know about that. I don't know about the, the red top. The, the fuchsia color. I don't know about that. <clears throat> He's talking about the hairstyling of one of the Marion players out here. And way away, Ollie gets the second free throw to go. He's talking about uh, Chase Maki. Yeah. Nice. Hair style. I like it. And with 30 seconds left, Cardenas brings it up. Mikey almost loses it and then does. It'll be a turnover. It'll be over the over and back. Turnover going right back to the Owls. Nelson, I don't know what the supper is tonight, but the Smells aroma good. is very, very delicious coming over from the other side of the hospitality tent. Way away, Ole can dribble the clock out. 17 seconds left. And Way away, Ole will just hang on to it up top. Just 10 seconds left now. Oregon Tech with the upset. They'll move on to 145 on Friday to take on the winner of Antelope Valley and Morningside coming up on our last game of the night. So a big victory here. 63 to 50 in favor of Oregon Tech is our final score. Kevin Potabom will.